Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to randomize a Pokemon ROM hack or a Pokemon 3DS ROM hack. By doing so, you got to add your Pokemon. In this case, I have Pokemon X. I've added it to this pack hack folder, which you can find in the description where you can download it. And I've renamed it to Pokemon Eternal X. You just got to make sure that it's renamed to something easy to type into once you open the hacking toolkit. So you want to start by enter D to extract the 3DS file. So I'll enter D and then I'll write in the name. An easy way to do this is just to rename and then control C to get the name of this and then just paste it in. And then when it says decompress the code, the bin file, I'll just write, I don't, I'm not sure what matters, but I'll just write Y. I think it, it's fine. And then once it's done, if it's if it gets stuck here by saying please wait, extraction is in progress, and it's been that for a while, just press any button and it should pop up like this. It might just bug out, or you just need to press the button anyways. And once you've done that, you can close this for the moment. And then you will use this, the extracted ROM FS. You want to open game files and whatever version of, for example, the Pokemon Eternal X, you have Insanity Mode Legal, Insanity Mode Rebalance, Legal version or Rebalance version. It doesn't matter which one you pick. They're all the same in the end. It's just for like the... Whichever you like. In my case, I'll use Insanity Mode Rebalanced. I'll click into Luma, into Titles into 0004 I'll see these two uh, these two files right here you don't want to touch this right now we're gonna put this into the mods folder of Citro afterwards do you want to click in on this one and then you want to copy these with control C and then you want to control V into this folder with the extracted ROM FS and replace the files in destination. And then you want to open the hacking toolkit 3DS again. You want to hit R to rebuild the 3DS file. And then you want to name it something. So I'll call it Pokemon X Rebalanced Insanity. And then it's going to rebuild. It's going to put the mod itself into the ROM. That's what's going to happen right now. Just want to wait for it to rebuild. And once it's done, just press any key to continue. And you can just close this. And then you have your file right here. And once you have this file, you want to copy it into whatever folder you use for... I'm just going to cut it. And copy it into this folder. This is the folder I use for my... Citra 3DS games and then you want to get your randomizer program I'm using the Audemar 3DS randomizer and you want to use whatever you're on the Mac I think this is Linux or Windows I'm going to use Windows because that's what I'm on this batch file and then you want to open your ROM you want to select your ROM from Pokemon games. I'll do X and Y and then Pokemon X rebalance insanity. And then you can choose whatever randomized settings you want here. And once you've selected what you want, you just press randomize and then CXI. And you just select it into whatever folder you want. In my case, I would use it in the, I would put it in the same Pokemon folder. And just rename it whatever the f whatever I need to be. I will just rename it to Pokemon X Rebalanced Insanity. I can't spell Insanity Randomized. And then save. And I, I haven't even chosen any settings, so, you know, it, it won't randomize anything, but that's how it goes. And it, it might say that because the ROM is 
it's it's not under like original rom or that it's like as you can see here when i select it it can say that it's like an, an official rom that it might be uh, it might not work properly it's still gonna work it's all good and yeah that's basically how you do it and uh for the last part i don't know how i, I think this matters but in the mods location you want to add the code ips file that you uh that you saw here you want to add this file i've already done that but you want to add this file into the mods location and there you go that's how you randomize a rom hack for the 3ds yeah, I hope this guide helps. Uh, I just kind of made it on the go. I just realized when I wanted to figure this out, there was no real tutorials online for this. So I just kind of made this right now on the spot. Uh, if you still have any questions or if you're still struggling, just hit me up in the YouTube comments or join my live stream where I'll gladly answer your questions. So yeah.